Hello, my name is Badger's Den, and today I will be, well, hopefully this will be the final episode of how to uh, do your end zombies comfy. So, we've covered the basics, we've covered what the tools are, what each one does, we've gone over how to edit the nav meshes and such, you know, to make it work, and we've even gone over how to make a config, and here's the part that you all probably want to wait for, it's up on the config itself. Now, this is a bit uh, unorthodox, if you will. Uh, so what I've done is I've got a folder here uh, called Ed Zombies Red Sun and what you want to do is if you are wanting to make a config um, and upload it to the workshop you can follow the tutorial I will look, look at the description but if you want to see someone do it and see how it all works uh, keep on watching on so what you're going to want to do is uh, first of all go into your guys mod folder now this could be in your C drive in fact, it very likely isn't your C drive unless you have multiple drives like I do and you have it somewhere else. Regardless though, wherever your Steam folder is, um, you know, your Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod, add-ons and whatever. So, go there. First things first, go into your add-ons folder and just make a new folder and call it what your config is going to be called. So in my case, I called it, well, Zombies Red Sun because that's what I'm calling it. I know, very great name. Then what you want to do is you want to make two folders. One is called Lua, but I mean, no kidding, and another one called Maps. Um, so just make these two respectively. And what will be in the Lua file will be the config that you're creating. And it will be this one here. Now, in my case, this will be uh, downtown 4C, well, version 4C, uh, underscore version 2. But obviously, you might not be playing on that. And if you case you're wondering, but how do I get this? Where is this file? You're gonna find this in your guys mod folder, and I believe you can find it in here. So if you go into guys mod and you're looking for a folder called data, click on that, then you want to scroll down until you see this lifty little folder here called NZ. And then your map will be in here. So I can't tell you which one it is. In my case, it's uh this one here. Uh and you'll obviously notice that compared to what I had, it was a text document now compared to the other where it was a Lua file. So what you want to do is you want to copy the fact the, the text document of the map that you use. So whether it's downtown or it was construct or ravine or just whatever map you use. So copy that and then you want to go back into your add-on and then you want to paste it into this Lua folder here that you've made. And in case you're wondering how do I change this from a text document uh, to a Lua file, a great way to do this is you can just uh, right click on this, click rename, and then it'll say txt in the end here. Just uh, remove that and replace this with lua, lua. Uh, what should happen is you should get a warning that says if you change the file type, this might make the thing unstable. Do you want to continue? Click yes, that is perfectly normal. If you do not get that, however, uh, there is a chance that you might not have that enabled. So you want, what you want to do is, is just go into view up here and then look for this called file name extensions and just make sure that's ticked and then just change it from a text document to a Lua file and then hopefully that should be good from there so that's so this is the actual config to the map itself so that's that so as for the nav mesh so if you have made changes to your nav mesh which you very likely have done uh, you'll need the nav file to go with it so to find this uh, you just need to go back into your Gary's mod folder and then go into your maps and this is where things can get a little bit hairy so what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you find the map and then dot nav at the end that's the nav mesh so in my case it's you know the rp underscore downtown underscore version 4c underscore version 2 dot nav and then what you want to do is, is just copy that and then go back into your add-on and then in the maps folder you just paste it there so we've got that out of the way now the only thing that you need to do at this point is make an icon or a thumbnail even. So here's the one I made. Very sophisticated, I know. So there's that. And then you might be wondering, what's this add-on JSON about here? Don't worry about that for now. I'm actually going to get rid of that because that's I've kind of skipped ahead here because I actually tested this before I made the video. So now you've got that, this is the part where you upload to the workshop. Now, there are ways of doing this. And I will tell you now, I will choose what is arguably the fastest way to do this. Um, I will be using an application called Gmod Uploader. So I, I don't think you need me to tell you why 
I should use this, or why you should use this, because the only other options are to use something like the command prompt. And let me tell you, I used that method like six or seven years ago when I was creating a map, and I hated it. It was the worst thing ever. Anyway, so I've got it open completely by here. I will link this in the description. And when you first start off, you're just going to have this GMA underscore uploader and this readme.txt file. You won't have stuff like this gmad.exe or this publish or steam API, not in this folder at least. You will need to manually grab these three uh, folders here from your bin file, which if you do go around this route, you just go into your Gary's mod folder, specifically the one with the capital G and the capital M, go into bin, and then you want to scroll down until you see the gmad.exe, so that one, then GM publish, and then you want to scroll down a little bit more until you see Steam API, which is this one here. So now, once you've got those three, you just copy it into your uh, GMPU folder here, or whatever you want to call this. I'm just going to get rid of that as well because I don't need that at the moment. And then it's just as simple as just open up the GMA uploaded DXC. So you've got this open now, and at this point, you're pretty much good to go. If you don't know what to do at this point, God help you. But I'll show you anyway. So, obviously, you've got your thumbnail, your title, your description, yada, yada, yada. So, obviously, titles as usual, as you would. So, obviously, in my case, end direction, red sun. Now, you do have to keep in mind as well, there are some characters that can't be used. So, like a comma, no, uh, will not be accepted. Not a comma, se semicolon, even. <laughs> wow, or a colon, even. Description, again, self-explanatory. I'll just call this my end zombies resurrection config. Your thumbnail, um, which will likely be in your add-on itself. So we'll go back into that. So you just copy that over, which is the fact of the thumbnail. And hopefully, oh yes, I should also mention as well, the fa the, this does have to be in a JPEG. If it's not in a JPEG, just change the file it's not gonna look go crazy I don't know why uh, it doesn't let you choose a PNG for some reason so there it is so we're in here click on that so now you can see the preview of the config the add-on folder it's this one here that you've just created so you go into this and this is the fun part you've got to go find the folder because for some reason well really hate doesn't don't put no you can't even put it in so just find your folder here which I'm gonna skip ahead for because God help me Okay, so once you get to this point, just click on the folder. Don't click on anything else in it. Just click the actual folder itself. So click that. And then that's it. So the only thing you need to do now is just obviously add some tags, change the server, the type. So obviously it's not really server content, is it? I'm going to call this a map. It's not really a map. And upload it. And then what should happen is you should get this here. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> If you get any issues with the thumbnail or saying, oh, we can't find this, or yeah, yeah, it's not in the right place, and maybe instead of having it with the config here, or maybe try to put it into its own separate folder, like say in the pictures or something else. So, once that's done, uh, just obviously name it, uh, description it, do all that stuff, then hit upload, then hopefully, it should be good to go from there. So, you just uh, any key to continue. And then, once that's done, you get all this stuff into another uh, thing. And there we go, then it should say your new item is currently marked as hidden, add some pictures in the description, then make it public. Then it'll even give you a link to where it is. So, this is what you should see. If you get any errors saying like, oh, the, the thumbnail is not 512 by 512 pixels JPEG, you need to make sure the image is 512 by 512 pixels JPEG. That's nothing I can do about it. If it's not working there, yeah, you're gonna have to try and sort something else out. I admit, even while making this video, I've run into issues with this thumbnail because uh, I have a modified version of it and it's just not cooperating with me. So while that's the case, I'm not too sure. But anyway, uh, to make sure that's all fine, you can either just copy the link here uh, or you can even go into your Steam 
And if you have it open here like I do, you could just hit refresh and boom, there it is. And obviously it'll be hidden so no one can see this unless you add them to this. And there you go, just all you need to do now is add some images. You can even change the description and such. And hopefully that's it, you should be good to go from there. If you have any issues, however, please ask in the Discord in the description. I appreciate that you know you want to ask the person who's made the video for help, but I will be honest with you, I'm not an expert at this. I'm only probably good at making the configs. When it comes to uploading the stuff, it's a whole other ball game. If you are really struggling, ask in the Discord. Those guys will be much more able to help, and you'll even get a lot more second opinions and such, and they might even be able to spot things that I will miss. Thank you for watching, and thank you for joining me on the series here. I can't guarantee I'll make another video on, on anything, like any tips or tricks, but if I do, we'll see in the future. But for now, this is Badger's Den, signing off. Thank you.